yesterday. So you look yourself in the mirror every morning and wonder and go through what you did yesterday and think to yourself, was it right? Was it fair? Was it kind? No. I'm just telling y'all some of the life lessons that I've learned. Because growing up in the street ain't fun. Mm -hmm. you know, man. It's like real powerful. You know, I heard it to what, what, but what I want y'all to know, what I want y'all to, to realize is, is the importance of you. How many people tell you that every day? Nobody. Nobody. I, I, no, no, I want, I want, a, I want no, a number. I want a number. How many people tell you you are important every day? My mom. Okay, your mom tells you you're important? I like so every morning you leave, she's like, you're important. No, every day. That's good. That is beautiful. Yes, you do. My mama do. That is beautiful. Mama, mama. We, don't, we don't have that many people saying that. And I want y'all to know you are important. You, you, you are deserving of what your goals are. You mean something. You mean something. Even, listen, even in this class, I can tell that we say little, got little comments, little snide remarks for each other, right? We're used to it, you know? That's just something we do. We grow up doing it, right? We've been trained to do that. You mean something. You mean something more than what you think somebody else thinks of you. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Ooh. You mean more than what someone, what you think somebody else might think of you. You have no time to worry about what others think about you. No time. There is no time to waste. No time for vacillation. Do y'all know what that word means? Yeah. No. Write it down. Type it. Whatever you gotta do. Okay, Searching. No room for vacillation. You just want to get on that phone. I'm saying. Be honest. I know. No room for vacillation. There is no room for vacillation. Vacillation means, it's, it's basically like, I don't want to give you the definition. I want you to look it up. I want you to look it up and I want you to think, I want y'all to start thinking in terms of concrete examples, right? So when I say, when I say strain every nerve and I ask you what that feels like, it's not for you to just physically know what it feels like, but it's for you to understand and conceptualize. Something gives you something to be able to touch, something to be able to taste, to smell, so that you can remember, oh, that's what that means. What does it mean to strain every nerve? I want you, I'm serious. Because because y'all may never, after today, after five minutes after I walk out that door, y'all may not remember one thing that I said. But I want you. To, I just want you to try to remember one thing. You are important, and you mean more than those that you think don't think that you are. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, because because that that is the key to actually creating a society that will be able to be uplifting. And do you know what that means? To uplift. Because we have to, when you work together as a team, team five, team four, team one, team two, team three, you, you, you buy yourself, seven, you buy yourself, you buy yourself. But anyway, so when you work together as a team, what does that look like? Team Everybody team plays their part, right? right? You play your role, right? It's just like basketball, right? Nobody thought that Golden State was going to lose the first game. Nobody thought that Golden State was going to win that second game the way they did, right? It's got a lot to do with knowing your role and playing your role to the best of your ability. And then in, the, in those moments, when you have the opportunity to shine, show what you got. Show who you are. But you gotta believe, you gotta know Mr. Jenkins, all right? You know what he told me? He said, you know, every morning I wake up, and he, he probably don't want to be sharing this with y'all, but you know, he said every morning I wake up, after I brush my teeth, I look in the mirror and I tell myself I love you. And I thought to myself, I was like, I kind of do stuff like that myself, but I don't really, I don't really look in the mirror and be like, I love you, man. I love you. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Because when I asked everybody, maybe one, two people said that somebody says to them that they're important, right? And then I said to Mr. Jenkins, I was like, listen, you know what makes more sense to me about that is, is the fact that if I, 
if I say that I love myself, then I can give of me to everybody else, the real me. Because if I don't love me, then what am I giving? What am I giving? And then if I don't love me, then I don't know how to love you. And if I don't know how to love you, it's a wrap. Because then, then we don't have a connection. We don't have a connection, then we're separate. We're separate, there is no management, no project that can pull us together. We have to understand that we mean something. There is a reason for your existence. There is a reason. And when you understand that, then there's promise. When you understand that, then there are goals that are met. When you understand that, you do make it to the MLB. You do make it to the NFL. You are a teacher. You are a neurosurgeon. It does not matter. No one can keep you from your goals if you understand one simple thing. I must sacrifice for me so that I can be me for you. Just, just, I'm, I'm serious. You, you, gotta, you gotta let yourself go. But you also gotta love yourself enough to know that everybody around you has a part to play. But if you don't play your part, you can't expect nothing else from nobody else. All right, listen.